everyone so today's video is a tutorial on this look I wore for a night out so I'm beginning with an illuminating base this one is from L'Oreal I'm going to list all the products down below if you want to know the names I'm also going to use a mattifying primer on the areas where I get oily which tends to be the center points of my face for foundation I'm using the Revlon Colorstay foundation in the shade Sand Beige which matches my tan perfectly. This is a good full coverage long wearing foundation so I usually get away with about one thin layer and I always go over them with a damp sponge just to pick up any excess product that is sitting on my skin. I'm also going to prime my lids using the Essence eyeshadow primer so I use a damp mini beauty blender to buff this out and then I'm going to set it with a matte highlighting powder from Fuchsia and this is going to give me a nice smooth base to blend my eyeshadows on. I'm going to do my brows off camera but I will link the tutorial below and then I'm going to start off with the Morphe 35P palette and I'm taking this kind of light plum shade and this is being buffed really roughly into the crease and up towards my brow bone area and I'm using a really fluffy blending brush to do this. I'm then going in with a shade that is a few shades darker um, a similar tone and this is going more directly into the crease first before I decide to kind of blend it upwards using the brush I used first. The next shade I'm going to take is from Makeup Geek and this is called Bitten and this is just kind of like a warmer plum shade and the, again this is going into the crease um, with the denser brush and then I am going to buff it upwards towards the previous colours again using the brush I used first. So I'm just kind of blending that and making sure the edges are nice and smooth and next I'm going in with Wine and Dine which is from the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and this is just going to really brighten the crease because it's a really bright kind of red plum colour. So this is going into the crease and onto the outer corner with a really small crease brush and again I'm going to kind of build up this colour until I'm happy with the intensity of it. And I'm just blending with another brush kind of in between to make sure that it's not going too harsh and that it's going nice and smoky but still intense, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with some concealer to clean up and sharpen my lid area. I'm also bringing this into the inner half of my crease because I'm going to do a half cut crease. So I just apply that on the lid and just a little bit above my crease and then blend out the edges with my finger. And then using a sleek glitter liner and I'm going to place this on the areas where I concealed. This is going to be a sticky base for me to pack on this stargazer glitter that I'm actually using which is kind of light pink shade. So I'm doing this in small sections because I want the glitter liner to be sticky so that I can pop the loose glitter on top. So that's why I'm doing it in sections so that it doesn't dry out too quickly. Otherwise the glitter won't have something to stick to. So just do it in small steps and just pack on that glitter. Then I'm using this kind of dark plum shade to um, blend the glitter in with the outer crease and outer edge area just so it doesn't look too blocky. I'm then taking this eyeshadow from Inglot which is called 308 and I'm just going to darken up the outer V and kind of outer edges of the eye with this. And then I'm going to go in with my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And I know I'm sort of out of frame for this, but I'm doing my usual winged eyeliner steps. So a line across the lid, a line across the tape, join them together and fill in the gaps. <laughs> um, I'm then going to take that 308 eyeshadow from Inglot again. And I'm going to darken up the outer crease and outer edge area, just where the eyeliner and crease kind of meets. I'm also going to take a small amount of black which is Lucy from Fuchsia and I'm just going to darken that area up a small bit more and then I'm going to remove my tape and I'm using the cellar tape and the stickiness from it to pick up any loose glitter that has fallen below my eyes and this works really well for me. I still have to conceal there so it's okay that's taking away a bit of my foundation. I'm also going to highlight using a shade from the BAM New 2 palette. It's just a nice white highlight shade. To highlight underneath my eyes and to conceal, I am doing a huge fail of popping some drawline into my Crown Brush UK Concealer Palette. And I'm using a really light shade to brighten underneath the eyes. Um, I just find that when you add drawline, it's just a lot easier to work with and just gives it more um, fluidity and it's less stiff. And it also blends into the skin a bit nicer because it's not as dry. So I always mix in drawline and then apply it to my face using... Um, a concealer brush and then I blend it out with a mini beauty blender. Then I'm going to set the highlighted areas using my fuchsia highlight and contour palette and I'm using the banana shade to do so. So I'm just setting underneath my eyes 
my chin and my forehead and I haven't set my nose area because I am going to go in with a contour shade from the crown brush palette and I'm going to try to contour my nose. I don't really have a technique for this, I always say this. Um, I usually just play around with the concealers and it usually makes my nose look slimmer, so yeah. <laughs> um, then I set my face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC25, so I just barely dust that around because the Revlon colour stay is quite long wearing as it is. For the lower lash line, I'm just basically doing what I did on top. I'm smoking out some plum shades, then I'm going to smoke out the Wine and Dine shade from the Violet Voss palette. Then I've buffed some of Bitten on my lower lash line. I've also buffed some of the 308 from Inglot. And the darker I go with the colours, the closer I stay to my lash line. That's how I always do my lower lash line. I'm also highlighting the inner corner with this NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And I set it with a Barry M pigment. And I will leave the shade down below because I don't have the number on me. I'm then going to line my waterline with the Inglot Gel Liner in 77 and then I took Lucy from Fuchsia and I just kind of smoked that out onto the lower lash line. I'm then bronzing with the Fuchsia Contour and Highlight Palette that you've seen earlier on. So I'm using the darkest shade to just bronze up my face and then I'm using the really cool toned shade which is called Fawn and I'm going to kind of just contour more directly with that. So I just use the tip of my brush to contour with that. And then I'm going in with my usual NYX blush in taupe and this smaller brush. And I'm going to contour the hollows of my cheeks underneath my lip and around my nose area. I'm then taking this blush from Fuchsia which is called Earth. And I'm just popping that a bit above where I bronzed. Then for highlighter I'm using the Inglot Sparkling Dust in 02. This is a really nice intense highlight so if you like that it is perfect for you. I highlighted the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and I'm also going to highlight the centre of my nose. I'm then lining my lips with Max Whirl Lip Pencil. So I just lined the outer edges and I also filled in my lips with this just to um, prolong the wear of my lipstick. And the lipstick I'm using is this Jeffree Star lipstick and it's called Sagittarius. So I just put that all over my lips and I also popped on some L'Oreal mascara on my lower lashes. So that is the finished look. Like I said, I will link all the products down below in case you want to get any numbers or names of what I used. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I will link all my social media links down in the info bar if you do want to have a look. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.